to what mice does pros like TSM, Myth and Ninja use in Fortnite. In this video we're gonna look at what mice the pros are using to try and figure out what features you should look for before investing in one, how many buttons do you need, what type of sensor and what sensitivity setting should you use. And we got a lot of things to cover here guys, best mice for Fortnite coming up. Welcome back my friends, Robin here on Chips Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming. On this channel you'll find PC components, tech gadgets and console accessories as well as product reviews. So if you're interested in that, consider subscribing. In this video we're gonna take a look at the best gaming mice for Fortnite. With that said, let's get started. Also all links to every mouse can be found down in the description. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, so I made a video. A video guide I guess the other day where I covered the topic of which key switch you should get depending on what games you were playing and I also made a video on what keyboard pros like Myth and Ninja currently using both videos can be found in the description if you're interested what the pros are looking for in a keyboard anyway today we're gonna look at the best mouse for this game and to kick it off wouldn't it be quite interesting to find out what gear the pros are using so since we already know what key switch and keyboard they tend to prefer, again let's start by having a look at Tyler, Ninja, Blevin setup. And if you're not familiar who Tyler was before Fortnite, let's do a quick backstory. So Tyler aka Ninja's Hyper is an American gamer and former competitive Halo player and very popular on Twitch where he mainly plays Fortnite. He is currently streaming for Luminosity Gaming. His career in gaming started in 2009 with him competing in Halo. A couple of years later in 2012 he won his first Halo championship in Halo 4. Now Tyler Ninja Blevins aka Ninja's Hyper is one of the most popular Fortnite players in the world. He is literally hammering the game all the time on Twitch and he also uploads video clips onto his YouTube channel. He gained popularity due to being among the first streamers taking up the game to where it is today. Now what mouse is Tyler using? Well according to videos and sites on the net he's currently aiming with the G502 Proteus Spectrum from Logitech. Now the Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum is a mouse made specifically for gamers. It is rocking the highly popular PMW3366 who has a polling rate of 1000 Hz. Now what the hell does this mean? Well a thousand hertz basically means that the mouse communicates with the computer a thousand times every second. Now the G502 has an optical sensor made by PixArt and it is one of the best sensors available right now. And what makes this mouse shine even more is not just the on the fly DPI profile changer, also the amount of buttons. The G502 features 11 programmable buttons which comes in handy when you want to build quickly in Fortnite, being able to just use your mouse and not relying to have you on the keyboard is pretty cool. Now this obviously takes a little bit of time and practice to become good at, but once you get a hang of it, you can actually save a ton of time by having a few extra buttons on the mouse. So what settings is he using? Well let's have a look. So this is basically a screen capture from one of his recent streams. So these settings could definitely change in the future, but Ninja uses a rather low sensitivity compared to uh, the average gamer. This goes for almost all games for the professional gamers. The reason is that a lower sensitivity gives you more headroom for small tiny adjustments. Instead of just flicking your hand and using your wrist, having a lower sensitivity will force you to move your hand which opens up for again smaller adjustments. Now if you want to learn how to play at this low sensitivity I would highly recommend you guys by starting to gradually lowering the sensitivity one game at a time to get the feel for 
for it because this takes time of getting used to. Now once you get the hang of it and get better with the lower settings, having Tyler's 0.08 will eventually feel natural. And with an asking price of around 60 US dollars, in my book it makes it one of the best choices out there both for the competitor as well as the casual to intermediate gamer. I own this mouse myself and the only con that I can think of it's the scroll wheel being made of metal which makes it a little bit slippery. That being said however, the grip and the control you have playing with this one makes you forget about the slippery scroll wheel in seconds. It outperforms the Razer Death Adder again in my book making it the best mouse i've ever had the honor to try up to this point now while we are on the subject of pro players in this video let's have a look at myth as well so Ali myth kabani aka the myth or tsm myth is another very popular twitch streamer and professional fortnite battle royale player currently playing for team solo mid now after fortnite started to gain huge popularity Ali became one of the most watched Fortnite players on Twitch thanks to his personality and good aiming. He's currently considered one of the best Fortnite players in the world. Now, Ali on the other hand according to sites on the net currently using the G900 but he has been playing with the G703 for quite some time which unlike the G502 which is wired. The 703 features something called light speed, which is a wireless technology. The 703 is using the same optical sensor, the PMW3366. But unlike the 502, the G703 only got six buttons in total. However, as I mentioned earlier, as of a few days ago, Myth changed out the 703 for the G903. A lot of digits right now, guys. But anyway, the G903. 3 has similar specs as the 502, the mouse that Tyler currently swinging with, like for example 12,000 max DPI, 12 customizable buttons, as well as the PMW3366 sensor, and yeah, god not forbid the adjustable weight system. Now this mouse sits in a totally different price point, however, mainly because of the light speed wireless technology and the fact that you can jump between a wired and a wireless mode and the built-in battery which adds a price bump to the final asking price. To be honest guys I wouldn't really recommend this mouse at all unless you really know what to look for or you find the wireless technology important because the G502 has most of what the G903 offers in a third of the price which makes the G502 a no-brainer but that's just my two cents. Anyway since we have already looked at Tyler settings let's have a look at uh, Ollie's sensitivity as well now as you can see Ollie's using super low sensitivity as well there's definitely a red line here guys competitor seems to be digging the lower sensitivity now if you want to become good with the same settings you gotta practice with lowering the sensitivity gradually now, I have been using the same method in games like Halo Reach and CSGO in the past and you will notice pretty quickly how fast you will improve you just gotta give it some time. Anyway, here are some specs on the G502. It's called the Progeus Spectrum RGB. It has a maximum DPI of 12,000. It has on the fly DPI shifting. And you also got a personalized weight system and balance tuning, which is pretty neat. Again, you got a metallic scroll wheel that you can adjust to a certain degree. With a single press of a button, you can switch between the normal step by step mode and the free mode which lets the wheel spin freely without anything holding it back so to speak. We got the 1000 hertz pulling rate which is nice. Now that being said although Logitech makes good mice they're far from the only brand out there guys so I highly recommend you to go visit the local store and try out all the different options out there. Sure you cannot get the feel for the sensor but this is the rule of thumb if the mouse is branded towards gamers it should have a pretty okay sensor and to be honest, the comparisons people make nowadays between the PMW 
3310 and the 3366 is pretty ridiculous. You cannot feel the difference even if you said you could. This has sort of become a selling gimmick nowadays guys but anyway this video should give you a great idea what pros in Fortnite are looking for when it comes to the mouse. Now guys I want to know what sensitivity you're using in Fortnite. It would be really cool to see and compare. Also don't forget to visit the local store and you gotta try try try. That is the best way to get a better feel and ultimately form your final decision. Now on this channel I cover a variety of gaming related peripherals, tech console and PC components such as headsets, headphones, mics, monitors and so on. Recently I listed the bed budget gaming mice as well as the best mechanical gaming keyboards link to those videos can be found down below with that said who am i to talk about this for well, first off i've been a gamer since i can't remember i'm a tech savvy and i worked in the gaming peripheral scene in the past i also built an overclock computer for 12 years and i've been a content creator for three now there's a ton of videos just around the corner for you guys if you're looking for the best budget monitor headset keyboard headphones mouse pad and more consider subscribing also don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploads on my end thank you so much for watching this video my name is robin here on chips media until next time guys have an awesome day all right bye